What is up you guys, Questing Guide here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to fix your Forza Horizon 3 if it's crashing on your PC. Um, the first step you need to do is reset your Forza app data, and I'll be going over in the video how to do that. After that, um, we're going to talk about what programs you should not have open, and then what correct NVIDIA driver you need to have, which is 372.70. As a disclaimer, this does not work for everyone. That currently works for me personally, but I have a 700 class series GPU. So, say if you have an 800 class, 900 class, or you know the new 10 series, um, you might have to try different drivers like the 372.90 or 373.06. You just have to keep downloading and installing fresh drivers until you find which driver works for you. Um, after that we're going to turn off the microphone pri privacy settings for Forza and we can talk about how to set the process priority for your game. There are many ways to fix this game but in this video I'm just going to be going over what worked for me. I'm not saying it's going to work for you. I'm just trying to help you on what got my game to work and what helped a lot of people and made their game work as well. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is press the Windows key, type apps, then from apps you're going to um, type in Forza within the apps and features, click on Forza, then go to advanced, and then click on reset. It'll tell you what happens if you reset it. You go ahead and click reset, and this is your first step. Okay, now that you've reset the app data, you can go ahead and open the game. It's going to download your profile, and if the game still does not work after this, we have some more steps to go over that will fix the game, hopefully. Alright you guys, for our next step, go to Google, then go to NVIDIA's website, and within NVIDIA's website, you're going to go to Beta and Older Drivers. Once you've gone to beta and older drivers, you're going to put in your GPU series, mine is the 700 series, and then your operating system. After you have done that, you're going to go and download 372.70. Now remember, this driver doesn't work for everyone. It works for me personally. So if your game crashes still, you're going to have to try and download different drivers and do a clean in install each time. It's going to be a trial and error process. So after 372.70 is 372.90 and 373.06. Now for the installer, I'm going to be going over how that works just in case if you don't know how to do that. Once you've downloaded it and you're opening it up, it says it's checking the system compatibility. Once that has finished, you're going to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. You're going to go to um, not express installation, but um, custom installation and then you're going to do a clean install and then uncheck the GeForce experience because GeForce experience does have the potential to crash your game. Once this is all finished you need to go ahead and restart your computer and then you can try relaunching the game and see if it works. If it crashes with this driver remember just to rinse and repeat this process with a different driver. Another thing you guys, when you have this game open, try and exterminate all background processes. So if you have EVGA Precision, OBS, Task Manager, Voice Programs, anything like that, make sure none of them are running. The only thing you want running is Forza Horizon. Try and kill all manages going on in the background. And then give your game a go. Okay you guys, for our next step, go to your start menu type in privacy settings, then go to microphone, and look for Forza and turn the microphone settings off for Forza. What this does is make it so that Forza won't be able to use your microphone in game. So if you're using Discord, Ventrilo, or any of those other voice programs, that you'll be able to use your microphone without crashing the game. Because when you're game is trying to use the microphone and your other programs are trying to use the microphone it conflicts the resources for the microphone so you have to make the choice between either just using the microphone in the game or the microphone for your software programs that you use to talk to your friends on your pc all right you guys now that we have the 
privacy settings changed, we need to get rid of the EVGA GeForce experience. So what you do is you click on start and then type in uninstall and you'll click on the add or remove programs. You're going to find the EVGA GeForce experience and uninstall it from your computer. The reason we're doing this is because it conflicts with the game, so this will help it work better. Once you have finished this, restart your computer and we should be able to play the game. Okay, now your computer should be restarted. Remember to check before you open up the game that EVGA Precision is not turned on, OBS is turned off, and that any of your voiceover programs are not turned on. And as you can see in this video, I forgot to turn off the EVGA Precision, and I turned it off in the middle of the game loading, so then it crashes. But now when I press play again, now that EVGA is precision is turned off, the game is going to work perfectly fine. Alright you guys, our game should be working. If your game does still not work, remember just to keep trying different NVIDIA drivers and do a clean install. On top of that, every time your game crashes, you need to go into your privacy settings and make sure that the microphone part is turned off. Yes, there was an update and within their patch notes, they did indeed say that the microphone problem has been solved, but I still have personal friends where if they toggle off the microphone privacy settings, that their game no longer crashes. Um, I have one last step for you guys. This is optional. This is your CPU prioritization. Um, I leave mine at normal, but I've heard from people on the forums within the Forza Motorsport forums that setting the prioritization to low will help their computer. And then myself, I've seen an FPS increase when I go to real time. Lots and lots of people strongly suggest to never do real time, but myself personally, it has not caused me any issues. I believe it doesn't cause me any issues because I have almost nothing running in the background on my computer besides the OS, the operating system. So, Give it a try if you want, There's you don't have to. If you guys have any questions or you need help fixing your game, just we'll write a comment below video, and I will do my best to help you out. That is about all there is to this. I hope this helped you out. I really do. I want everyone enjoying this game. It's a great game. Here's the part where I show you how to do your CPU prioritization. Just go into your task manager right click on the game itself, go to the details, and then it'll automatically highlight the game. Right click on it, set the prioritization to whatever you feel will work for you. Um, you can fool around with it. Do real time, do low, do normal, and see what helps out your game best. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.